Hey guys, how's it going? It's Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall and we're back with another of my fragrance reviews that again, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. I know I'm a relatively new kid on the block, but my collection isn't new from the block, okay? So I'm going to talk about one of my uh, latest discoveries that I believe at some point I'm just gonna get a full bottle because it is just simply amazing. So today I'm gonna talk about Clive Christian C. Now you know I already made a Clive Christian X review that you must watch if you've never smelled or heard about it before. It's an amazing review. But today we're gonna go into the thing that I've always wanted to get into but I was a little bit cautious and that's leather. I always wondered why leather was so important to a collection. Why would a guy smell like leather if he already had a leather jacket on. I just didn't understand until I really tried different leather fragrances, which by the way, I'll do a top 10 on, and put them on, especially at this time of the year. It's December, it's almost Christmas, and wow, the effect. It's something else. I mean, it's like leather and then all these uh, leather perfumes, what they do is they mix the leather with things like uh, citrusy notes and then they'll add rose jasmine some with oud and it just the, the result is just truly truly amazing and this specific perfume brings me to one moment in time when I was maybe in my early 20s at that time fashion wise or clothing wise I could only afford your typical garden variety of department store stuff and in no way, shape, or form could I afford any high-end stuff at that time. My aunt actually said, hey, I got something for you. And I've been keeping this for a while. I believe it was my uncle's. And uh, she brought me to the closet, opened it up, and inside was a fairly new, uh, at that time it was already vintage, but a fairly new, it had the tags on it and everything, Neiman Marcus leather jacket. It was like a brown leather jacket. And it was new, it still had the tags on it. It was worth thousands of dollars, very expensive. And she gave it to me and luckily it really fit me. Now, the thing is when I saw the jacket, right? And I, I was like, wow, this thing is not only expensive looking, it's really expensive, but there's a smell to it. There's a smell to it that really, it, it just, it all it t told me was like luxury, 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 luxury. And I'm telling you, I don't know where that jacket is right now but it never came back. The smell never came back until I tried Clive Christian C. I mean, the thing about the leather fragrances is that the types of leather they have are like all different. And I'll describe that once I compare it to other ones. Uh, but the Clive Christian C one, no joke, smells exactly like that Neiman Marcus two $3,000 leather jacket that I got from my aunt. It opens with a lot of orange and green, some thyme, some some lemons. It opens like that, but I'm telling you, it only lasts, that, that, that opening only lasts literally two to three minutes for me. After that, it evolves into this floral thing where you've got the rose, the jasmine, uh, a little bit of saffron, I believe, just a little bit, but it evolves into that. Now, the thing that carries it through and through is definitely for me, the amber and the oud. So I love amber. I'm a big fan of amber fragrances and I love oud. And this is the type of oud that maybe you can compare it to like Tom Ford's oud wood, that kind of oud, not like the Middle Eastern type oud. And it just, it carries it through and through. The oud and the ambery uh, uh, scent carries it through from start to end. And it kind of dries down and sort of like a vanilla-esque uh, um, fragrance but again the leather the, the specific leather in here smells like a high-end leather jacket uh, the brains behind this or the nose behind this rather is Christian Provenzano and that was the other motivation that I had for buying this because he's the guy behind a lot of the Bodicea stuff that I already love so since he was the guy behind this I said man I can't go wrong uh, if you're watching this, it's almost 2020, which means there's already an insanely huge uh, internet gray market where people are buying, selling, reselling uh, different perfumes. And I'm well known in the fashion community for doing that. I have my own platform called The Mall. 
but in, in the in the fragrance market there's a lot of this too going on and the great thing about it is it's already like not impossible to get now I also made this video for certain people that have no access to this for testing even in a place like I live in a big city here in Los Angeles even in Los Angeles I mean you can't just go to the local mall even if you live in a nice neighborhood and there will be Clive Christian C uh, sitting there for you to try sometimes you have to go to like the really high high-end opulent malls maybe near Newport Beach and then you'll see one of these on the testers and then you can try it but over here it's not that easy and I can imagine if you don't live in a big city or anywhere near that and it might be near impossible for you to just test this so as opposed to Tom Ford's Tuscan leather which is readily available in almost every department store there's a store here called Sephora and we have places like Nordstrom here in America that have all the Tom Fords right there you can test them out uh, I was always you know they're just testing it over and over when I was trying to get into leather and the thing that I got from Tuscan leather was it's just it's brutish it's strong it's direct and there are a lot of men uh, out there that want that kind of style they want to just show that straight up now Clive Christian C is not that and I will tell you if you can smell both the leather from each is a little bit different I see Tuscan leather as stronger more bold more macho whereas Clive Christian C I kind of see as like adventurous sensual uh, classy I've seen some comparisons people saying it's like royal and opulent guys I have a lot of opulent perfumes it's not that it's more like classy adventurous that's what I can get out of it and because I live in SoCal and we don't have a lot of winters and I only go to winter places maybe 10 days at a time I only needed this uh, travel spray right here travel spray set which I got for an amazing amazing price and it had about it has like maybe 22 mil uh, total of a uh, travel spray uh, vials but I, I can imagine myself if I was like in a place where I had really four seasons this would be like a full bottle for me this is bottle worthy for me so let's get into the ratings number one is it mass appealing and my answer to that is it is a 9 out of 10 why because it is not so like in your face and like straightforward I believe that this scent just like if you're wearing it like I'm wearing it right now it takes you to a journey okay and if, if there's all these people around you that have they don't have trained noses or they're, they're used to the usual designer synthetic perfumes and they just go oh you smell good this will take them through a journey because it has the uh, citrusy opening and then it has the roses the the flowers to carry it over and then that non-medicinal oud to really like round it out I feel like this will take them to a journey to where they're gonna slowly appreciate it as it goes I love how it evolves in your skin and I know that if you're around people they're really gonna enjoy that now projection man this thing is pretty strong on projection I only put literally three sprays and it was like light sprays because it's from a travel spray so really light and man I'm telling you guys it projected very very well silage very very well and the longevity is long and so it's already 3 p.m. and I put it on at 8 a.m. and I can still smell that lovely $3,000 Neiman Marcus leather jacket that was given to me now is it great for dates absolutely I would give it like a 10 out of 10 again because it takes them to the journey but also because it has a little bit of those rose the, the florals and it also just kind of like is much softer than uh, than Tuscan leather but it, it it is very appealing if you're gonna go out on a date or a night out or maybe like a formal uh, this thing really really works manliness factor definitely a 10 out of 10 for me this thing right here is all about masculinity it's all about being adventurous and it's all about being classy I don't know why but I just think about a guy that goes on this like road trip somewhere you know I'm thinking like so something like a Wyoming kind of like a Jackson Hole Wyoming going to Utah and he's taking this trip and he's just like it's kind of like the winter time and it just it just that's the adventurous spirit 
just doing like a road trip like that, I could just smell the Clive Christian Sea while doing that. I can't imagine a motorcycle because that would be unfair. A motorcyclist always wears leather, but in this case, I mean, you can wear whatever you want, but it's just that smooth, sensual leather that comes with it. Again, takes you through that journey, and the 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 smell just evolves and evolves and evolves stays with you and smells very classy at the end of the day and finally is it full bottle worthy if again if you got four seasons you got winter yes absolutely full bottle worthy and i'm sure you can take advantage of all the christmas sales the christmas deals i mean bloomingdale's has an amazing christmas deal they're not paying me to do this but the other day it was like 25 off their fragrances and then if you buy something i think every 150 you get 25 bucks so i bought a few fragrances i amassed all these like gift cards and i believe i got a chanel coromandel for almost like 100 bucks when it was all said and done and then i still got more gift cards to spend it's definitely full bottle worthy but if you don't live in super cold or cold places four season weather like me in SoCal and you occasionally do it hey just get a travel spray it's gonna be worth it you're gonna finish it eventually because it smells so damn good so that's it that's my review on Clive Christian C definitely a great leather scent that I can't wait to compare with other great leather scents that's in my arsenal I've got maybe 10 of those and I want to go through all of them and, and and tell you guys what the what the different leathers smell like like for example for chanel queer de Ruzi, it this the leather there does not smell at all like the neiman marcus leather jacket you know it it really smells like leather military boots and that's what it was intended for and you'll get that different smell with chanel queer de Ruzi. over here like i said it's very classy adventurous takes people on a journey takes you on a journey definitely worth buying so until then guys watch my other videos again I'm going to review these uh, scents whether it's new whether it's not new whether it's from back in the day I'm gonna review them with my own input which is you know, kind of worth watching and again please subscribe please support the channel and I appreciate you guys God bless